In this session, I will introduce you to price to sales ratio. In many cases, investors might prefer to use price to sales instead of price to earnings to value their investments. Why should one use price to sale when there is price to earning? There are various reasons that fluctuates company earnings. For example, cyclical companies like metal, oil and gas tend to have volatile earnings. Generally, they have high fixed cost. Hence small percentage decrease in sales will reduce earnings significantly during economic downturn. Companies might have negative earnings primarily due to two reasons. First, young companies tend to have high expenses due to high initial growth, sales and marketing expenses and they tend to report negative earnings. Second, a profitable company might have no earnings at all, due to huge one-time write-offs. Hence, investors might prefer to use price to sales. This ratio compares the stock price of the company with the company's sales per share. Price to sales ratio is calculated as company's share price divided by sales per share. You will get share price from the stock market. Sales per share is calculated as net sales from income statement divided by number of shares issued by the company. Price to sales can be used to compare the performance of two companies. Let's understand with example. Suppose there are two companies. Company A, trading for 40. While Company B is trading for 20. For simplicity let's assume both the companies make similar products, they have same revenue and shares outstanding. If Company A and B have sales or revenues of 100,000 and there are 5,000 shares issued, you will get sales per share of 20. Now, it's time to calculate price to sales for both the companies which is stock price divided by sales per share. Before evaluating price to sales, let's assume company A has net profit margin of 40%, whereas company B has net profit margin of 10%. Let's calculate price to sales ratio. Company A is currently trading at 40 having sales per share of 20. This will give you price to sales of 2. On the similar line. Company B is currently trading at 20 having sales per share of 20. This will give you price to sales of 1. Clearly company A is trading at a higher price to sales multiples compared to company B. Before you conclude. Company B is trading at a lower valuation. You should look at how much of sale company is converting into profit. In this case, company A is more valuable since it has much higher profit margin. The valuation may be justified because every rupee of sales, company A, generates higher profit. Hence you can conclude that company A is comparatively cheaper even if it's trading at higher price to sales multiples. Whenever you feel a particular company is trading at a higher valuation from the price to sales ratio perspective, do remember to check the profit margin for Qs. Moreover, you should compare price to sales with companies that operate in the same industry or similar business model. Thank you.